Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these um, vegetarian chicken wings. They are delicious. There's no actual chicken in it. They're made with tofu and you guys, oh my gosh, I'm being so serious when I say these taste just as good as regular chicken wings to me. Um, here I do have them coated in buffalo sauce and here I have them just plain so you can do either or. Um, this is the sauce that I use to coat them, but anyway... You guys, these are absolutely delicious, so stay tuned if you want to find out how to make them. Um, I will show you uh, here. Also, you guys, before we get started, I forgot to mention that in this recipe, I ended up using extra virgin olive oil, but I would actually suggest against that, not using that. Um, it worked out okay, but there was like a small like grease, like flame or fire, not fire, but you know what I mean, like there was a little bit of a flame. I don't know if that's like super common or whatever, but uh, I did have some oil that was meant more just for like cooking things in higher temperatures. I just ran out, so I just used this because this is what I had, but I would not suggest to use this again because in high heats, you know, it can be kind of dangerous. So even though you guys saw me use it, I want to tell you guys um, I do not recommend to use that. So learn from my mistake. All right, here we go. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some tofu chicken wings and it is actually really, really good. I kind of even like them better than real chicken wings, um, but anyway, this is going to be a vegetarian recipe, not necessarily vegan, and I'm just filming this on my own so I kind of just have to make the best with what I can. This is the tofu that I'm using. I took it out of the package. Um, I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference what kind you get, but anyway. What I'm going to do is I am going to, and it's like hard to do this on camera, I'm just going to cut this into slices like that. Well, you'll see here in a minute. Okay. And you don't have to do the whole thing all at once, but I'm going to do slices that are about, you know, give or take that thick, and I'm just going to do that with all the tofu. So I will come back with the next step. All right, so now you can see I have them sliced. Um, and basically what I'm doing now is I have them laying on a layer of paper towels. And I'm gonna put another layer of paper towels over them. And basically I'm just pressing the water out of them. And I would suggest to do this about two or three times, just kind of depending. I kind of like it when it gets them a little flatter too. I don't know, I kind of feel like it's that like pounded chicken texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and then swap out paper towels and do that um, maybe a couple more times and I'll come back um, here in a, minute, in a minute. Okay, so I pressed water out of them about three times or so. And it's actually, usually when I do these, I get them more smashed than this, but that's all right for now. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try to show you guys as I go along, basically I'm gonna take the smashed squares, I'm gonna dip them and coat them with a layer of cornstarch. And then in this bowl, there are two eggs that I've just kind of whipped up, just, you know, any kind of egg, whatever. And then, and I'll show you this too as I do it. And then I have some um, panko breadcrumbs, and you can get creative with this too. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys a couple. So basically what I do, keep in mind, I'm just kind of doing this with one hand. I hate the way this part feels. It feels so like chalk, Ugh, it's disgusting, but I just try to coat it really well, flip it over or whatever get the edges, so coat it pretty well. If it's not perfect, that's okay. And then dip it in the egg mixture. This is just two eggs, I didn't like add any salt or anything like that. Dip that in there so get that all coated pretty well, all the sides. And then Put it in the panko breadcrumbs. I love these, um, the panko breadcrumbs are so good. Okay, so and that's it for now. Then just put them on a plate or a paper towel or something like that. And the stuff sticks to your hands, so you might want to kind of rinse your hands periodically throughout this because um, it does kind of get stuck. And I try to like not mix the ingredients that much. It's no big deal if they get mixed a little, but anyway. Coating the edges. And then again, dip it in the egg mixture. I try not to leave like too much egg on it, but I don't spend too much time trying to get the egg off. 
And then see how like the more you flip it, the more it'll be coated. Like that was only coated one time. And then if you flip it and press it a little bit. And then I even like to like take each of these sides and do that. And you don't have to do the whole block of tofu at once. You can do just half of it. Um, you know, I'd say that's about enough for a serving or maybe a serving of two people, just depending on, you know, what you want, how much you're eating. So anyway, basically you're just re going to repeat that process with all these. Um, and this is what they should look like for now. Okay, so this is what it looks like before it's cooked, but it's just all on the plate. I actually, this is going to sound kind of gross, but I ate some of the blocks just like plain. Tofu is kind of an acquired taste. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it's like, I, I don't know. I like it, <laughs> but it's an acquired taste. So anyway, this is not cooked yet. So what I'm doing is I have a uh, oven pan and I have it on medium high and I like to let it preheat before I put the oil in. I'm just using olive oil. I would suggest just be careful with olive oil. I kind of feel like olive oil could catch on fire. I don't know. So like maybe don't try this at home, but or I don't know. Have Make sure you like read the manufacturer's instructions or whatever. But anyway, yeah, so that's been on medium high for about a minute or two. So I'm just going to put some oil in and um, I will show you guys kind of what it looks like, like as it's cooking. Okay, so this particular part of my stovetop is kind of annoying because it kind of like leans to one side, but it's already heated. So I'm just going to use this one. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Careful not to burn yourself. And... I just do kind of as many as I can fit at a time. I don't want to like overcrowd it. This actually frying pan is kind of small, like I could have used a bigger one, but um, I know this sounds like common sense, but the higher the temperature and the higher it's been at that temperature, the quicker it cooks. Okay, so like I just barely, like look, that's been on for less than a minute and it's on medium time. I like don't want to get oil on me because I like the shirt that I'm wearing. Like, this has been on the stove top for, le like, literally less than a minute. Like, I bet it was probably less than 60 seconds, and it's already... I turned it down to medium. I mean, the tofu is already, like, you can eat the tofu just plain. You don't really have to cook that. Um, it's not, like, uncooked meat or anything like that. But, I mean, make sure the egg's cooked and stuff like that. Yeah, so if you're new with this, I would recommend just a, like a lighter heat setting, um, like maybe a medium or whatever, maybe a medium high to get it started, but anyway, I turn it down to medium now. I like it kind of, like that's probably good enough right there, but I kind of like when it gets like a little texture on the outside. So anyway, I usually don't stick the fork in it like that, but I'm just going to put it on this. I have the cutting board with the paper towel over it to just kind of get some of the oil out. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to focus on this without the camera so I can get it done properly because it's hard to do with one hand. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys that this cooks pretty fast. And um, I will be back in a minute. Hey guys, so this is what they look like after they're done. And sorry that this particular plate is kind of, I don't know, I don't feel like it looks that <laughs> that nice. but. I just wanted to show you guys what they look like. Um, you can have a more brown like this one, you know, kind of got a little bit darker or like less brown like this one. All that side's a little more done, but it was a little bit lighter or kind of in the middle. And then what I did with this one is I just coated it in hot sauce. Like I just dipped it in and turned it around. Um, you know, like this, I just got from the Dollar Tree. Sorry about the, I'm having a hard time with like one hand holding it, the other hand doing it. Like this is hot sauce and then you know, just like wing glaze or whatever. Um, and then this is what it looks like on the inside. Honestly, it kind of reminds me a lot of cheese sticks. Um, like it almost looks like cheese. And I really actually prefer this to real chicken because when you think about the, a lot of the kind of gross and nasty stuff that is in a lot of the meat that we consume today, it's just kind of gross and tofu doesn't have like those hard bits that chicken gets sometimes like it's just you can bite into it without having to worry that you're going to get like a disgusting grit of something so that is what it looks like um after it's done and also you guys um you know comment let me know what you think of this video subscribe for more videos um i really enjoy doing these videos for you guys and um yeah check out my other videos on my channel 
And thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.